In pro sports, there are players, winners, and then there are champions. Tony Stewart, or Smoke, has been a champion in almost everything he's ever driven. A true blue-collar racer, his style on the track and in front of the camera was never an act. What you saw is what you got. It's why fans flocked to him over the years. In fact, it reminded people of a different era in NASCAR, and Kid Rock looks back on the last true American badass. They were different. These men made of something part mechanic, part mayhem. Out of machines, they built roaring monsters, blazing a trail where once lay only sand. They created a sport out of breaking the law. They were just like us, hardworking, blue collar men. But they were also nothing like us because inside of them, a relentless spirit emerged to go fast, harness power, and control what cannot be controlled. Time after time, era after era, racing gave us one of the country's greatest commodities, the American badass. Johnson, Foyt, Pearson, Earnhardt, the embodiment of fearlessness with a full serving of aggression. You didn't mess with these guys. And if you did, you regretted it. In 1971, the Cup era began in NASCAR. The King won his third title. In a small town 40 miles south of Indianapolis, Tony Stewart came into this world. From the moment he could walk, he drove. And from the moment he could drive, a 100% grade A American badass was born. wasn't just his God-given talent that had the world's attention. Smoke was a full-fledged star. He won everything, in everything. The only thing Tony Stewart was bad at was losing. Uh, good job, guys. We gave another one away today. He had fire, and people loved him for it. Many layers, generous, gritty, kind, courageous, soft-spoken, steely. He wore his heart on his sleeve, and when he had to, he rolled it up. Stewart expresses his displeasure. Boy, Tony Stewart is after Logano. One little runs us clear down to the infield. I'm gonna bust his ass. That's the worst tire I've ever been on in my life. You're a bunch of idiots because I was the fastest car on the racetrack at the end. In a time when pleasing sponsors often outweighed all else, Tony stayed true to his roots. He was nothing like his contemporaries. He spoke his mind without apology. This one's for every one of those fans in the stands that pull for me every week and take all the bull from everybody else. His only fear was letting himself down. And mostly, he showed us all impossible could be possible. 2002, he was the champion. 2005, he was the champion. And he's going to become a three-time NASCAR Sprint Cup champion. Tony Stewart wins it. For 18 years, he carried the torch for those who came before him. As he takes his final bow on the cup stage, he may be the last of the breed. The exception who was exceptional. The outlaw who rewrote the rules. Thank you, Tony Stewart. You are the last great American badass. This is an amazing era that is coming to an end. It is hard to imagine a Sprint Cup Series race without Tony Stewart in it. But Larry, he's going to be missed, but, but just as a driver. Yeah, I, you know, I raced against him my last two years as a crew chief, and I've talked about his racing on the racetrack the last 16 years, and, and we're going to miss him on that racetrack. And we know he's not going away, but I'm going to miss his attitude. He's genuine. He tells it like it is. It may not be what you always want to hear, but he's going to tell you like it is. And the other thing that, that in my book makes him a badass, in the history of motorsports, he is the only guy that can lay claim that he has won an IndyCar championship, 
championship and a NASCAR championship. And the way the world of motorsports is today, I think if we're sitting here 100 years from now, we'll still be able to say he's the only guy to do that. Yeah, I, I think after today, though, it's going to be a huge relief for him. I mean, I, I think he's been looking forward to this. There's a lot of things. He, it's not like he's just going to disappear. He's going to go racing. It's just not going to be a NASCAR. But I think there will be a 1,000 pounds of weight lifted from his shoulders. And I think he'll admit it. I, I mean, I think he's having fun at it this year because he knows it's going to be the end. But I believe that he couldn't wait for this day to get here. And when it's over, he's going to be a happy man. Yes, yeah, simply put, once again, thank you, Tony. And as Tony gets ready to walk off into the sunset, let's take a look at some Sprint Cup Series numbers for Tony. Three championships, 49 wins, 187 top fives, and also 12,815 laps led. What a career, and it's a good thing that Tony will still be around with us for a while as an owner. Let's go back to the track desk, check back in with Danielle and Kenny.